All right, so in this video, I just want to add some limit functionality to the number of results we get. As of right now, if I just go and do a get request to this URL, we basically get every single result from the table we have. So I wanna have some sort of limit functionality to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I start doing any code, I just want to separate some of these things here. I have this do get, do post, and all this other helper functions basically all sitting here together. So let me just create a couple of files here. So what I'll do after I have these, I'll go to this code and I'll grab do get, cut that and move it to this get file. Then I'll go to do post and do the same that ends here, just to keep this a little better organized. That's that, and I'm gonna go to this. Finally, I have this few helper functions. Have them here, and this code.js is pretty much empty at this point, so that's fine. I'm gonna go to get, this is where I'm gonna add some things. So basically what I want to do, I want to be able to come in here and add some parameters to this. So after this link, I want to be able to do something like question mark limit equals 10. And when I run this, I want that to just give me 10 results. So to make that happen, let me actually just go get the docs for do get. So here we go. Basically, we have this E parameter that's being passed, and that's gonna include this string. I don't care about that. See, there is this E parameter, so that's gonna be name something and one. That should be pretty much what I need. So this will be basically, instead of this name, we'll have limit, and then it will be basically the number, whatever it is and it seems like everything comes back as text, so we need to think about that as we do this. So I'm gonna go back to this and to this do get function, we're gonna pass that E, and we need to check if that parameter is defined. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna check if the limit is defined on this. And to do that, we'll just check if the type of this equals to undefined, then we'll know that there was no limit passed. So we'll just say the limit equals to, so if the type of limit is undefined, then we'll just say the limit should be null. Otherwise, the limit should be whatever is passed. So that would be this. So this way, at this point, this limit would either be the number that was passed to us or it will be null. So it's probably a good idea to verify that if the parameter was set, it was actually a number that was passed. So in case it's something weird, we can kind of catch it here. So let's just do a regular expression here. So what we should be able to do is take a regular expression of some sort here. So we'll just take, shouldn't start with a zero and that should start with. So let's just do start with and let's a dollar sign to say also ends with. So after one and nine, now we could have really any number. So the second one would be basically the D as a digit and we could have zero or more of those. So star should take care of it. So I think that should take care of it being an actual number. So we should be able to do a test over this regular expression and pass this limit to this. And we should only do this if the limit is not null at this point. But for now, this should just test to see if the limit matches this expression. 
So if it does, this is gonna give us true. So basically, if it's a number, it's a whole number, then what we need to do in that case, we need to take our limit and make an actual number out of it. So I'm gonna do parse int and take that limit. So if it's not, we know something is wrong. So we have to do something in those cases. So we'll basically just set it to null again, I guess. Alternatively, we could also just throw an error in this case and just basically stop the rest running. So let's just save this in a new variable. Let me close this panel on the left so we can see this whole thing on a single line. All right, so we'll just do this. So at this point, this limit number is either gonna be the actual number or it will be null. What we could do in case it's not null, we could just limit our results. So right now, what we do, we just basically go grab the data from our spreadsheet and then we drop the headers and then we create this array. And basically we just return that array back. Now what we could do with this data instead of just doing what we do, well, we need to still shift the headers, that's fine. But then after that, we need to take that data and return only 10 out of those instead of everything that was in there. I don't want to return the first 10 though, I want to return the last 10. I want to get the latest 10 in this particular case. So what I'll do, I'll take that data. So we should be able to use slice on this and see slice has a starting number and ending number. So I think we should be able to just do negative 10 or something like that for this. Let me just go check the docs. So start and end, negative index can be used indicating an offset from the end. So negative two extracts the last two elements in the sequence. So what I'm curious about, what happens if we do two negatives? So let's just do a quick test here. So I'll just create an array. And let's take that array and slice. So that should give us see, the last two. So that's good. So what happens if I do negative four and then negative two? Then we got six and seven. Okay, that means if I do negative six and negative four, we should get the other two. So this is good. So this should work out really good for us. So that means if we just do negative two, zero. Okay, so let's try to apply this. So here, what I'm gonna do as the slice, we should basically just pass that negative limit. So we'll say if limit number, so meaning if it's not null, then we can take the data and slice it to negative limit number. Now that's gonna return a new array. So what we'll do, we'll just change this const data to let data. And then I'm gonna take here and say data equals to this. And at that point, the data should be minus whatever they pass here. So it should give us the latest as many as we ask, I believe. And then we'll take that same data and convert it to a JSON array. So the rest should be just fine. So let me just test this to see what we get. Push this. And I'm gonna use the URL for the dev so I don't have to publish this. So that gives me everything. Now let's take that same link 
And when I click on it, it goes to someplace else. So I have to be careful about this. So it's going to be dev question mark. And then we're going to do limit equals, let's say three. And we have to get that limit right here. And that, as you can see, gave me three. Now I have to go check if this is accurate. 125, 124, 123. So Jake and two Olivia's. Okay, that's actually accurate. So we got the latest three. Now let's try to do something funny. So let's do limit error. And in this case, see, it just ignores that because it didn't pass the check, which is fine. We could, like I said, also return an error, but I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. Now I also want to implement some offsets so we can skip, let's say three, and get the next three, something like that. So I'll just go back and also add this to my code, which means in addition to limit parameter, we're also gonna check if there's an offset parameter. So it's gonna be very similar in many regards. So I'll just copy those lines and call this one offset. And we'll say if the offset parameter is undefined, we'll do null, otherwise we'll do the offset parameter and we'll take that offset and again, do the same check because it should be a valid number. And then we'll parse that as an integer here. So that will be our offset number at this point. So what we could do then here, we could say if the limit number is defined and the offset is defined, then we'll take our data and do minus that and minus the offset number. Well, actually that's probably not accurate because we have to add the offset to the limit too. So we'll take the limit plus the offset for this and do the negative of that and then just do the offset. I think that's correct, but I'm gonna have to check this else. I'll see if I guess, let's do that. So we'll check if the limit number is defined, then we'll just do what we used to do. So we'll just get this back to our original code. So I'm not sure if you want to do anything, if it's just offset. So I guess I'm just gonna do this. And if you wanted to, you could add another statement here, but this is good enough for me. So I'm gonna do this and I wanna test this to see how this actually works out. So push those changes. Let's go back and check this out. So let's start by still doing the limit. So I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna need this in a second. So as you can see, that gives me the latest three. I want to add the second parameter. So ampersand offset equals, let's say five. Well, let's just do three for now. Let's do limit three offset three and then we'll play around with this. So it gave me Anne, John and Jake. Let's see if that's correct. And John and Jake, yeah. So it basically skipped three offset three and we got three. So I should be able to do offset three and get me like five, something like that. So let me go do that. So I'm gonna do limit five, but offset three. So it should skip the first, well, the latest three, and then it gives me from 118 through 122. So that's correct. It gives me the right results. That works actually pretty well. The thing that I want to check is what if we go offset way too much more than our data. So for example, if I do, we have like 103 records, the first one being the headers. So what if I do offset 102 or 100 and get five, right? Because we don't have enough records. So, limit five, offset 100. So Monica, we got three results. 
which are those three. So it kind of handled it automatically, our slice. So it just grabbed us whatever is available. So what if I go way too far? Well, before we do that, I guess let me also just test this with, let's say, limit 10 or 100 and offset 100. So let's now try to do way too much offset. So let's do offset 120, limit 3. There shouldn't be any records at that point. And that's good. That basically just returns nothing. So we got now limit and offset functionality in this. So I'm just going to go ahead and deploy this thing. See, now we have our separate files and all of that, which is fine. So now let's check this using our postman. So I'm going to take this. So we have limit, let's say, 3. If I send this, gets me 3. That's good. If I go back to this and do limit 3 and offset equals 2, Then it should skip two and get me three. Oh, you can actually zoom in in here. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.